Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Matt with a special uh, edition of, I guess, Matt's Life. And today I guess you can call this beer mail because I just got a letter in the mail. And this is from, as you can see here, the Dogfish Head Brewing Company Incorporated with their little seal on the back right there. Now, I contacted Dogfish Head probably about a week or so ago. And basically, it was to ask for labels for a art project I'm going to start on fairly soon. I've contacted about 17 different uh, breweries, every, everywhere from Southern Tier all the way to Sierra Nevada, all the way to Stone. But Stone gave me kind of a funny uh, email about brew, uh, beer labels, considering the fact they don't have beer labels. Uh, other ones include Rogue, other ones include a whole bunch, a whole mess of different uh, beer labels. So it was kind of a hefty package. And they were very, very, very nice nice enough to send me just about every single one of their labels. Pristine, didn't have to peel off the, off the label, off the bottle or anything. So here's some of the labels. I'm just going to show you all of them. These are pristine, by the way. You have this one right here, the Midas Touch. And the Midas Touch, I was never a big, hand, a big fan of this. This was a little too sweet, a little too much high alcohol. So that's the Midas Touch. Of course, you got your 90 Minute. Dog fish head with, of course, the 9% alcohol in there. You have the Raison d'Etre. This is a deep mahogany ale brew with Belgian beet, sugars, green raisins, sense of purpose. Most of these dog fish heads I have tried, so you can check the reviews out for this. Now, this is a uh, this is the Palo Santo Maron. I believe this is in season right now for the spring. This is a 12% uh, dog fish head right here. And they all have great little things on the bottom here in terms of a uh, explanation and stuff like that. Now, some of these I've never even heard of, and they sent them to me also. This is the uh, Dogfish Head Golden Era. This is Imperial Pilsner. This is 9% alcohol. I'll just read what it says here on the side. Using all continental Pilsner malt, then hop with the finest noble hops, Golden Era harkens back to the old world traditions of Czech brewing. So it's more of a Czech, Czech Imperial. Uh, Pilsner, so that hopefully you'll find that. This is the uh, Festina Pish. Now this is a malt beverage. Not really a big fan of that at all. Burton Baton had this. This is pretty much a combination of two different uh, dog fish heads. I think this is the uh, Stout and the uh, nine and the uh, nine ninety minute uh, IPA. And this is a ten percent alcohol by volume. Here you go, the old standby, the 60 minute, probably my favorite, one of the, my favorite dogfish heads in terms of uh, bitterness. Right here's another one, this is the uh, Shikori Stout, I think this is in season two. This is a way more sessionable beer also, this is only, this is probably the lowest uh, dogfish head percentage wise in terms of alcohol, only 5.2% here. Now this is a uh, rich dark brew, smoothed out with a touch of roasted Shikori and organic Mexican coffee, goodness beneath goodness beneath a bone white head. I believe I reviewed that also. I have to go back in there. And of course here's the uh, the big daddy right here the 120 minute IPA. This clocks in at about 21 percent alcohol uh, ages well. <laughs> and I like how what they have right here. These are old labels too because when you see the brew right here brewed in uh, 030405. So this definitely has some uh, kick to it if you're keeping it around for a while and aging it. Uh, the Apper Hop, now this is a fun beer. This is probably going to be coming out pretty soon with the uh, spring right around the corner there. The, pump, the Pumpkin Ale, one of my favorite pumpkin beers, courtesy of the Dogfish Head. Now here's when you get to the more expensive uh, bomber labels. Pangea right here. This was a good brew. This is very, uh, not too um, hoppy. Low alcohol, and it also had like this nice ginger taste to it, which was very, very, very nice. Best to drink from a snifter, so you can appreciate all the uh, flavors. This is another one. Haven't had this one yet. This is also a bomber only. They only got these things right here. This is the uh, Thembroma, and um, my girlfriend's just walking in right now. She's going to try and uh, sneak her way in here. Hopefully, she did. she's trying not to get cut on camera right now, so... Uh, this is a 9% brew right here, and I like the art on that also. It's kind of like a harkens back to an Aztec woman or something along those lines. Now here's one I've never seen. Now we just saw the one that looks like a Aztec girl. 
This one looks more like a Indian, well, not an Indian, but a woman from India. Dots, not feathers. Yes, okay, no feathers. She's feather free. Dots. And uh, she's got the nice little, uh, like, she looks like she's riding a moose or an elk or something along those lines. And this one is an ale brewed with black kai tea and juniper berries. Now, they don't serve this around where I come from, so that would be a delicious beer to taste, in my opinion. Here's another one I've never seen before. This is the uh, Chateau Jua. It's got a look, kind of like a nice little French looking uh, 1950s painting to it a little bit, very classy looking. And of course you know it's classy when the girl's got a tram stamp on her back right there too. So This is a uh, malt beverage brewed with honey and hawthorn fruit fermented with grape concentrate. Uh, a 9,000 year old Chateau Jura stands apart as the most ancient chemically attested alcoholic beverages in the world. This is a uh, even have, they don't have an alcohol volume on this, so I don't know, but I'd love to try it. Now here's another one. This is the red and white, and we're uh, coming towards the end here. The red and white. This is a 10%. This is a blend of uh, two different dogfish beers. This is a um, brewed with coriander and orange peel with Pinot Noir juice concentrate added with 11% aged Pinot Noir barrels and 89% aged on oak barrel staves. So I've seen that before, though. This one I've never seen before either. This is the Dogfish Head Wit Spiced Rum. Uh, a sublime, distinct, trice distilled, handcrafted white rum with carousel, orange peel, and coriander. 40% alcohol. This is a liquor, my friends. This is probably the only liquor that Dogfish Head probably produces. So that's very interesting to me. And right here, this is the final one we're getting to right here. This is the Fort. Ale brewed with pureed raspberries, and I have not gotten a chance to taste that either. And that stands in at a not mentioned alcohol volume. So that's it. Hope everybody enjoyed this little, you know, label uh, show off. You will be seeing more labels as they come in, as I get them from more breweries. This is just the first brewery that was very, very nice enough to send me labels absolutely for free. And I very much appreciate that to Dogfish Head. And if you haven't had a Dogfish Head, I don't know what the hell you're waiting for in the first place. So that's about it. Time to start cooking some St. Patrick's Day food, shepherd's pie tonight, and I will see everybody later and happy St. Patrick's Day. See you later.